So last but not least, in terms of the effects editing, we're at uh, chapter 7i, which is going to be editing the hard tune block. So I'm going to press and hold hard tune here to get into it. And we're going to be greeted with uh, probably pop style will be the one you're most likely to see. Um, that's the very, uh, uh, you know, um, tuned sound. <laughs> It's key and scale based, so if you've set your key and scale within Harmony um, or you're using Natural Play to guide the, the key and scale, then uh, that's going to follow from whatever you set in the Harmony block. Um, we go through to Country Gliss, and what that is is it gives you some range around the note. It allows you to be a little bit flexible around the note itself, but does still a quite um, uh, sort of a, a quick jump between the notes. So it's a particular style where you're, you'll hear the effect between notes, but you won't hear it as much when you're actually on the note singing. Kind of a cool one to use. We got robot, which basically just gives you one note and you're stuck to it. Hey, I'm a robot, no matter what I say, it's always the robot. Then we've got Correct Natural, and uh, we've modeled this off of our voice tone synth. It was a very popular way of doing our correction in, in the synth there. And uh, what it does is just a, a much more subtle version of still key and scale based correction. So it's still going to put you uh, or guide you to the notes that are within the key and scale. It's um, um, You're less likely to sing a wrong note in, in relation to the song you're singing. So it will guide you there. Um, but it is slower in terms of the way it pulls you and less aggressive, so it doesn't sound as much like an effect as it does just like tuning. If we go into correct chromatic, that's essentially like setting the pitch correction amount we talked about in the setup menu to 100%. So it's a stepped chromatic. Uh, it's not based on key and scale. It's just going to take you to the nearest note that uh, it determines based on the number of cents that you are away from that particular note, which means you could be corrected to the wrong note if you're closer to the wrong note than to the right note. Hopefully that makes sense. Whoa! Then we've got drone. Drone is actually based on the root note that you're playing on an instrument. So, hey, I, this is my root note and it's gonna play and then when I move the chord it does the other root note and it sticks me here so I can't sing anything but that root note and you can hear it move, you can hear it move, you can hear it move, you can hear it move. So we get a lot of questions about how drone works, and uh, that's probably the best example I can give you there, is that it's just following the root note of the chord that it's hearing as you're playing your keyboard or your guitar there. We also have gender better. So uh, that's not necessarily a correction, it's just giving you gender here that I can go through. Hi, change my gender a little bit. So that's one that you would use if you wanted to really adjust the gender of your voice and make it sound uh, quite different. Um, shifting, of course, is the other thing we can do. I'll do it within this gender banner, but you can do it within any within any of the styles here. Basically, it gives you uh, uh, up to 24 um, semitones of shifting in any direction. So if you wanted to shift yourself up by an octave, you'd go up by 12. Now I'm up by an octave. Vice versa, you go down, and you're going to go down by 12, and it's going to give you a lower octave. Hey, there I am. Okay, so that gives you a sense of what these top level controls do. Um, this is another one of these uh, uh, effects blocks that doesn't have advanced editing, so it would be like choir that doesn't have any parameters beyond what you uh, what you see is what you get here. Uh, but we feel like we've given you lots of different styles you can choose from uh, to go through and have some fun with the hard tune. So that brings us to the end of the hard tune editing section.